Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you some more top pro gamer StarCraft replays from the latter. Uh, and in this particular game, we have the legend of StarCraft 2, one of the greatest Protoss players of all time. It's MC. Uh, I casted a game of his recently on the channel as well, a Protoss for Zerg, where I did explain his background. Once again, he was on the brink of becoming a big time StarCraft 1 pro when he switched over to StarCraft 2, just barely didn't make it into those Star Leagues. Uh, but nowadays he is back, he's playing a lot. A lot of uh, StarCraft 2 fans don't know that, but a lot of the people that leave StarCraft 2 do come back and get very good at StarCraft 1. Uh, Deer got highly ranked, SOS got highly ranked, Sue was number one on the ladder at some point, uh, MC is very highly ranked right now. Uh, and yeah, MC has been looking very, very strong. Uh, here he is in the top right, as previously mentioned here on La Campanella. His opponent is kind of a fan favorite, I think, for people who watch Artosis cast a lot. It's Bishop. Uh, Bishop was the actual original uh, modern day random player. He did it before Flash, very, very close to getting into ASL. I believe he was like one game off uh, on, his, on his best try with random, but did end up going back to Terran. Um, and... Honestly, his Terran play is really exciting. He's been in ASL. He's not. He doesn't make it every single season, but overall, I think his Terran play is some of the most dynamic Terran play we get. He has very good strategies, very good micro and execution. Uh, we definitely see interesting things from him. More Wraith play than a lot of people. Uh, for instance, his Terran versus Zerg will be more Firebat heavy in the mid game than most players. And little things like this really do make a difference. So definitely Bishop, someone I think that everyone uh, does enjoy to see. Now, who is going to win between these two? I definitely value Bishop as a stronger player than MC. And honestly, this map, La Campanella, I feel like it's a pretty good map for Terran. Uh, it's like kind of small in the middle and the bases that are like kind of sneaky bases that you can get that are hard to attack, you can attack with siege tanks. So yeah, I do feel like it's a, it's a pretty solid map uh, for Bishop here. I am favoring him. Uh, but we'll have to see. You know, each game of StarCraft is a beautiful snowflake or a disgusting, ugly snowflake. You know, one or the other. Uh, <laughs> maybe something in between. Uh, but yeah, it looks like Bishop going to go ahead, get that scout right away. No Zealot on the way. He'll figure that out momentarily. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys very much, uh, by the way, for checking out our cast. Thank you for leaving a comment and hitting that like button. Always appreciate it, guys. So Bishop here... Uh, you know, he scouted MC first, saw no Zealot being made. He knows the timing of the Dragoon because he saw the Cybernetics Core finishing up and he's gone for a gasless expansion. So he was able to do this off of like one Marine. He's getting his gas super, super fast. Uh, everything looks pretty darn nice uh, for Bishop right now. I definitely think uh, that's a slightly better opener for him, but it's MC's opener, you know, absolutely playable from here. Does he... Does he want to try to put pressure on? Well, he hasn't really scouted that much, right? Here comes the probe, and he's going to find that. Oops, I'm playing against basically the greediest build that I could have run into. Uh, so where will MC end up going from there? Will he go into Reaver play? Will he do something cheesy? We see he's already started his range upgrade. So, like, I mean, you can just rally out range dragoons and, and force some repair on that bunker. Honestly, I think that is one of the better plays against the gasless expansions. It does actually cost a lot of money. And if your opponent's trying to go for like a two factory play, it gets a little bit annoying because you have to afford siege if they actually make a lot of dragoons. And, you know, it, it, it slows down the production because you have like, you know, four SCVs mining or uh, repairing. And that, you know, that costs a lot of SCVs, uh, you know, to to keep that going. So anyways, uh, he waits until he kills off that SCV. We'll see right here, it is gonna be a robotics, not a big surprise, MC is a big fan of Reaver play. Uh, more Marines going into this bunker. And so you can see he's going up to four Marines specifically. So this tells me he's probably, my guess, going to go for a pressure play. He is getting two factories and the four Marines will help him in case MC tries to like dive on a tank or something, right? Like, do you have to get siege mode here? That's the that's the thing that Bishop's trying to figure out right now. Now you can see he brings two SCVs up. He knows how dangerous this is as range finishes. So he is ready to repair that. If you end up losing a bunker, you know, against Protoss in the early game, especially the gasless expand, you generally just lose the game immediately. That's just it. 
So uh, you do have to be careful. Sometimes when you pull out of your mineral line, the SCVs can dance on each other and get stuck. Uh, depending on what's in the way so you want to be ready and he is completely ready here no way he's going to be losing that bunker and you can see right now he's gotten the second gas as well he, look this is he is on top of things like when you know how many are going to be there and you send up the scvs it's very good play from Terran. so he's going to be repairing that no problem hasn't started siege the longer you can put siege off the better it's one of the most important things to try to uh get value wise now you can see he popped out a marine there. That was to draw Dragoon Fire because it is a projectile that takes a while to get there. And here is the first siege tank. Now, will MC dive? See, this is why he had four marines in there so that he could skip the siege mode. If you try to dive, he'll, he'll pull back and the marines will deal extra damage. Two more marines have been made. Speed and mines on the way, going up to three siege tanks. I think he probably will move out as soon as he has three siege tanks. Uh, now banking a bit more gas than he really needs. That happens quite often. Uh, Reaver's on the way here for MC. He's only on one gate. It looks like he wants to take another expansion. But if he's on one gate Reaver, I think it, it's likely this build will deal a lot of damage to him. Now, here we go. Six Marines, three Seed Shanks, Vultures rallying. The Engineering Bay is done. He's getting an Armory in here as well. And so, yeah, MC uh is is gonna be in a little bit of trouble here i think he just doesn't have a lot now the four goons it's a good number you can one shot marines so dealing a decent amount of damage but this is a lot of marines to try to get rid of all you're looking is for these to buffer obviously they deal damage as well but here comes that reaver now let's see if he can get anything done with it okay one very good scarab to start starts to run two vultures by gonna go ahead and lay some mines here uh, the Scarabs haven't hit the actual tanks yet, which is good. Uh, the looks like another Vulture ends up going down. A little bit of bug on that one. Oh, my God. MC is just kind of crushing this push right now. He barely lost anything. Like, he's losing two Zealots and, like, a Dragoon so far. And that's basically it. Now Observers are out. Not a good situation. In fact, Siege has just started. So Bishop, during all that micro, was a little bit slow starting a Siege. He will start adding more factories. This is very normal as far as a follow-up goes. He has that plus one on the way as well. Uh, plenty of gas here still in the bank. Trying to repair his siege tanks. And he still has good health on them. So he can still battle for sure. But a good scarab hits. Making it a little bit harder. The mines do slow the dragoons from doing anything that they want here. But with a speed shuttle out, he does have some options to try to get some damage. He's going to try to get ahead of the range of the siege tanks. Yeah, that was perfectly done. Uh, well, I guess just slightly not perfectly done, but he does get another Scarab hit and will back up. So during this, he has started his third Nexus as well. We're up to four gateways for MC as well as the robotics pumping out Reavers. Where are we at here for Bishop? Well, he is getting his Goliath range. He's going up to five factories. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but... You know, honestly, I still like this for Bishop. I think that MC did a good job holding, and it the game is certainly not over. There's a lot of play here on both sides. But I do like this as a follow-up. This, this has been pretty darn clean from Bishop. Uh, getting into that Goliath range, if you get four Goliaths, he's making three right now. I'm sure that he'll make a fourth. Four Goliaths, two shot a shuttle. Okay, so you can punish the shuttle reasonably well. It requires a lot of micro from uh, the, the Protoss player. Uh, but basically what you're looking to do here is you'll have a certain amount of tanks that you want to get. It looks like Bishop has found the tank count he wants, which is going to be nine. That's, that's really, really good. I would say anywhere from nine to 12 is generally pretty good for these pushes. Generally, you want four Goliaths, and then you just kind of rally Vultures out and try to run your opponent over. So right now, that is not a scary amount of Dragoons. This amount of Dragoons gets absolutely slaughtered. Uh, the Reavers are really the key here. Here's two Reavers in the Speed Shuttle, and he is making another shuttle right now. Uh, Citadel is on the way. Forge is on the way, so definitely legs will be coming up for those Zealots. A fourth Nexus is going down as well. Still making those depots. You have to nail those. You have to produce units nonstop. 
And here comes the shuttle. Now, this is all going to come down to execution on both sides. This is really a battle of MC slowing him down till he has enough units to kill this army. Whereas Bishop needs to make sure he doesn't bleed too many, but still moves forward at a quick enough pace that he can get into this area. If he can get into this area, uh, it is going to be really, really good for him. He'll be able to stop all the rotations of units and start killing off Nexuses. So there you go. Two Dragoons end up dying, but a Siege Tank gets picked off uh, from those Reavers. Still only three Goliaths, so I'm, I'm a little bit sad about that. I really like the four Goliath play, uh, as you can pick off the shuttles so quickly. All right, pushes forward, sieges the side. That's going to push the Dragoons back, and you can see MC right now. He's got the two shuttles here. He's got the Reavers waiting. The Observer watching where everything is so his Reavers can move accordingly, and then the Dragoons over here to help out if need be. Oh, no. Oh, no, MC's not looking. Oh my god, both of his Reavers take so much damage. This is the perfect opportunity uh, for a Bishop to get up across the map. Now, more Dragoons are coming out to try to stop this right now. Bishop starts to get up into a good position. These other Dragoons haven't moved quite yet. Right now, MC moving back towards his natural. Let's see if we get some good Scarabs here. Nope, doesn't quite get any launched. And here comes the Reinforcement Dragoons or the reinforcement cutoff dragoons, right? I think that's basically what they're doing. The Reavers have been lost, unfortunately, and Bishop is really taking control of this game. Now, he can't rally up because of these right now. He has to wait for critical mass. MC starts to move back. He might be looking for a flank at this point. I think he needs Zealot Legs. I think he might have Zealot Legs, in fact. Yeah, he does. Starts to move forward. Unfortunately, Bishop forcing the engage before he's really ready. Oh my God! Very good try there with dragging in some mines. Oh, huge mines there from MC. More zealots come out of those gateways and get on front of the on top of these front siege tanks. But still, at the end of the zealots, there's four tanks remaining, and that should be enough, I think. I think if you don't go too far, if you set up, you start laying your mines. Maybe you throw a missile turret down there for helping. Maybe even put down a depot for blocking. Those types of moves are going to be very powerful here. Now, MC dives out again. Oh, another huge mind drag there from MC. But Bishop's rally just has too many units here. MC is pumping out what he can as quickly as he can. He's got good production now. But it just seems like the execution here from Bishop was a bit too strong. The probe's starting to fall. And yeah, I think that uh, I think that we're going to be seeing GG here probably pretty quickly. You know, you're losing this Nexus. You have this Nexus, but well, you know, if he's sloppy, maybe maybe MC can save that. And you have this Nexus, but there's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's like one probe mining, unfortunately. He wasn't able to send any probes over before the push came. Uh, tough luck there for MC. There are some DTs coming out. He's going to try to get in there and do something with them. You know what? That's pretty good. Drops the Reaver off. The DT is getting multiple kills. Oh, my God. He stops the turret. Hold on. Hold on. Are you kidding me? Kills off almost every single siege tank. A scan goes down, but the DTs being absolute hero units. Now, MC trying to push out once again. This is probably his last try here. Dropping more zealots, dropping more DTs, dragging mines into the army. A lot of dragoons come down, but here's the rally here from Bishop. His macro has been on point. He's got a lot of units here, and it seems like he should just barely be able to push this all back. Well, one DT on top of it. Okay, gets that scan down. The DT gets another siege tank. No units remain, though, for MC. They're both very low in supply at this point. Dropping out units on the way in this shuttle. He desperately wants to drag uh, some more mines in there. Good scan. Saves that tank. That's what MC was gunning for because it was only one hit from death. And look at that. Scans to try to get that DT. Oh, he actually misses the DT. The DT, yeah, it looks like it'll live. I don't know if he has scans left right now. Yeah, it looks like he does have another one. Good banking of those. Going to get the probes here, which means that the economy of MC truly is dead. If he had probes mining here, honestly, he might have won this game with that great engagement to break out. You know, he would just have a much better economy. He'd be able to produce out of every single gateway nonstop. You can see some of these don't have units in them. And, you know, that's just the way of things sometimes. 
you have the production for the amount of bases you're supposed to have and then you start losing them it's like well can't pay for all that right now bishop is double expanding during this honestly you could have made those a little bit earlier but the micro it was very very intense and yeah yeah it, it i think that this is just going to be a bishop win from here this is a great move siege up in this area <laughs> and that's gonna be it gg bishop takes down mc